all right guys welcome to another episode today is the first nice day we've had in a long time the first day above freezing we've had a solid sheet of ice and snow for about six days today's going to be 57 degrees it's all going to finally melt so the water could get a little dingy later and rise it's a full moon we're going to try to catch sauger walleye smallmouth and spotted bass Let's just see what happens. Alright, I need a minnow somehow. I don't care if it's dead or alive either because I'm just putting it on this grub. I'm tipping my... I'm tipping this. Wilma's was already on a fish, guys. That did not take long, one minute. Hey, we're already on them. That didn't take long. Oh man, walleye, hell yeah. Woo, <laughs> oh man, that's a big one too. Oh my God, oh, oh my goodness. That's your personal best. He's 20 inches. Hit your button, hit your button. It's not net broke. It's broke. What do you mean broke? Oh my God. You're kidding me. What happened to it? I don't know. I bet it was Alfie on the damn fence. Oh my, that's a big walleye. Take this back. I'm gonna measure him inside the net without taking him out. Oh, you got the tape measure. Yeah, there's a big old hole in that dip net. We're gonna have to buy a new one. That's your personal best walleye. Guys, we haven't even been here a minute. And already she just caught her personal best walleye on a suicide shad with a half ounce red jig head, not tipped with a minnow. And we just discovered that my dip net has a gigantic hole in it. I think it was my dog, because I had it hanging outside to dry. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna zoom. Whatever you do, hold him low like this in the center of the canoe, do not go high. That way if he falls, he falls in the canoe. Be perfectly in the center and hold him kind of low. I'm gonna film you low. He's gotta be 21, 22, down, down, down in case he flops. Guys, that, guys, that's, man. Yeah, he's 21, 22 inches. Oh my goodness. Just keep that pose, I'm trying to get it big. Man, that is a nice walleye, guys. Okay, lay him in the floor and then get in my front pocket the tape measure. I bet you he's 21. Man, I can't believe that, man. That's a good sign. <laughs> I didn't even start yet. <laughs> oh man. It's in that pocket. Okay, it might be in that one, yeah. He's gotta be 21, 22. I'm gonna say at least 20. Let me get this. I can't believe there's a giant hole in the dip net. We'll still. 21 inches guys okay put this back we can still use it for really big fish but we're gonna have to try to lip them you want to keep it right there just hold that pose all right guys her personal best walleye 21 inches okay Oh no. Second You're... fish of the day. She's whipping my butt. She got a spotted bass, about a pound. 12, 13 inches. My goodness, both fish on a lure, none on minnows. He's not bad. Let me anchor before I film you here.
cotton. Right here is fine for a little bit. Well, we're going to try here for a minute. We always catch a bunch of smallmouth right here. Spotted bass. It's a nice one. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try just a regular grub for a minute. My minnow's dead that's on there, so I'll have to get a new minnow here in a minute. Nah, that's okay. That's a nice fish, though. It really is. All right, guys. I finally got on the board, and we got a smallmouth. We are getting the variety. We got a walleye, spotted bass, and smallmouth. Got him in 35 foot of water with a shiner. Medium sized. One ounce weight. Not a bad guy. Probably 13. Heck yeah. So I was scooting, moving my middle around just a little bit at a time, pick, barely picking it up. Trying to get their attention is how I caught him. Not a bad smallmouth, guys. A little pale, but he's pretty. Just happy to get on the board. It's a nice smallmouth. Not bad. So I'll tell you what you might be have better luck doing as well like I was doing or with a one ounce jig head and vertical jig in it okay um, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do try to get one with this one I am hooked into something really big here I have no clue what it is but I do believe it's a flathead you wouldn't believe this guys but I had my pole out on the bottom toward these rocks all of a sudden I looked over and my pole was bent over and way back behind me this fish came that far before I even noticed he was on there. I just wasn't paying attention. It's a bowfin. Dip net. Wow. What a surprise catch. Oh God. Mm. Holy cow, man. In the winter time. Now that is odd. Well, guys, I was off on what I thought it was, but I knew, oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, my God. He's about five pounds, isn't he? I will in a minute. <laughs> Holy cow. That thing sat there for half an hour. That's weird. I'm going to have to get gloves. There's five pair of new gloves in the very front, the ones you bought. Man, I thought I had a big old flathead, but I'll take a both in. Beautiful winter both. Man, he's about 27 inches. It's not a small one. He's big. Man, I barely had him hooked. Hold on. That one is already used anyway. Barely hooked, man. He could have came off so easily. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just goes to show if you let your minnow set long enough, guys, you will get something. Now I got Wilma beat. Well, maybe not. Her walleye's a cooler fish than this, but still, very nice catch. You'll have to probably zoom to about 2.0. At least I caught something cool and unexpected though. What a bowfin. That is a beautiful winter bowfin, guys. <laughs> About right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna attempt What a catch, what a surprise. 
definitely unintended species, but that is a cool one. There are not many of them in this river, actually. At okay. least not up this far. You're good. Yeah. Wow. Nice bowfin, guys. He's got to be six, seven pounds. I thought I... That is just weird how that, how I caught him. All of a sudden my line was way back behind us. Okay. You're done? Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh my goodness. Well, that helped my day a little bit. That was a nice surprise. Guys, Wilma got her second spotted bass of the day. Oh, small mouth, yeah. Is it a small mouth? All right, guys, we just relocated on this hole. We're just kind of experimenting around and it didn't take us long to get one here. That's a small, that's a spotted, God, that, that's hard to tell. It's a small mouth, he's just real pale. It's a small mouth. Okay, turn your body a little towards me. It's a nice one. That's a really hard one to tell though. It's honestly, I, it's hard for me to even tell what kind that is. It looks like a mean mouth almost, but not quite, I don't know. It's got a scar on its belly too. Show the other side. That's a nice one. Man, not bad. Oh, I'm gonna throw some minnows out maybe. Heck yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, he's decent. You got one. Sure do. Probably a small mouth. They hook themselves and you never know. That's my guess. All right, guys, Wilma's on something here. We just don't know what yet. We're guessing smallmouth. No, walleye. No, smallmouth. Little one. It's not bad, you yeah. She's just catching twice as many as me today. I just can't seem to get nothing. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. All right, hold on. Go ahead and hold it normal. Turn your body towards you can do it without turning around. Just gotta turn your arms more. A little bit down. There you go. Yeah, not bad. Okay. All right, guys, I got my second smallmouth of the day. Right below the canoe. We are in about 25 feet of water. Boy, he is barely hooked. Pointing down, too. Bottom lip pointing down. Got him. All right. He's not horrible, guys. Not big by any means. He's about 12.
hold it up there. I'll zoom. Got blood. Uh, okay. Good job, honey. I think that's our third or fourth smallmouth. Yeah. Guys, I'm hooked into something pretty decent here. This is a fight or whatever it is. It's a bass, I think. Yep, small mouth. I need pliers. Where'd the pliers go? I, I don't see them. Oh, okay, I see the ends of them. Yeah. My third small mouth. Little guy about 12. 